Because there's a lot of talking. Like, shut up. Like, what is this? This is an exit. I exit out of this. Oopsie. We ended up searching until evening, working by the light of the sunset. Sheesh, was this a history club or a hiking club? The president is a monster. Was the president this enthusiastic? The rest of the club suffered. I hadn't done this much walking since my middle school hiking trips, and frankly, I never wanted to walk that far again. Even though I took a long bath, my feet didn't stop aching, and my sunburned face and arms were throbbing. Oh, that's the last time I go out without sunscreen. I was going to blame the club president if I got a farmer's tan. I just hoped that my skin wouldn't peel, and my skirt was a mess, too. What a day. Worrying about my probably sun-damaged hair, I blew it dry and fell into bed, where I dozed lightly. I'm exhausted. I was so sleepy, the fatigue overcame me all at once, but still I wanted to take one more look at the pendant. Shaking off the drowsiness, I wrapped myself in a towel and I wrapped myself in a towel and picked it up. Are you naked, girl? When I'd taken a bath earlier, I brought it in with me so the dirt had been all cleaned off. For some reason, pouring hot water over it and watching it carefully had sort of been fun. As I rinsed it like, little by little, the pendant had begun to regain what must have been its original shine. When I held it up to the light, it seemed as if, as if a soft green glow were emanating from the translucent stone. So pretty. Maybe it's Jade after all. If it was, then I feel sorry for whoever dropped it. Jade was supposed to be pretty expensive. But I read in the magazine that there was lots of fake Jade out there too. Or maybe I was just wrong and it was some other kind of stone. Maybe it was just plain glass. Was, was the chain silver? I thought so, but it was odd. I had been burying the mud for so long, and it didn't look rusted at all. It just sparkled softly. A friend of mine who really loved silver had told me that it was difficult to take care of because it scratched so easily. The stone were flooding with rich light and the brightly shining silver ornament. I bet it's something really expensive. Oh boy, what should I do? Maybe I shouldn't have just walked off with it after all. Now I was really starting to worry. But still, whoa. But still, it had been in the middle of the lake. Even if I told somebody about it, I doubted the owner would turn up. No, that's just me being selfish. Ah, uh, I'll bring it to the police station tomorrow. And until tomorrow, I have to take care. I have to take good care of it. I wondered if it would be okay to put it on for a bit. Oh, girl. See, this is, I swear this is one of those traveling through time shits. She said, put it on, fall asleep, or some shit, and I said, wake up in the fucking past, and then, shit gets real. Shit gets really real. Anyway, and I'm smart, I have to take good care of it. I wonder if I would be, yeah, to put it on. If my mother saw it, she might notice, and wonder where I got something so expensive. Hmm. It was no good. The more I thought, the sleepier I got. It was almost ready. I was almost ready to pass out. It was time for bed. Clutching the pendant, I plopped my head down on the pillow. Yawn! So tomorrow I had to go back to the ruins too. Alright, let's get some sleep. Good night. I don't know the fuck you tell good night to. I briefly mean, hope for good dreams. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Help me. Please. My feelings. My regrets. Huh? Um. What? Please. What? A voice? I could hear somebody's voice. Uh, um, is, is somebody there? When I woke up, my room was bathed in green light. <laughs> oh, this is way different than what I thought it was going to happen. What the hell? What is this? <laughs> the green light spread throughout the room. It's a dream. There's no way this could be real. Definitely a dream. I was asleep and deep in REM. <laughs> Never mind. I was so tired that I was having a strange dream. That was it. That was definitely it. I always felt weird the night after a long hike. No way. Why was the room so full of light? And what was... Why was there a girl floating in thin air? Help me. Ah! <laughs> I shut my eyes tightly. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four. When I got up to 20 sheep, I made myself open my eyes hoping the dream had stopped. Ah! The sheep died hard as bull ducks. My room was definitely still full of green light, and there was definitely still a girl floating, floating, <laughs> floating in the middle of the light. 
I had no idea who she was. I'd never laid eyes on her, but she was wearing that pin around her neck, and the light was coming out of it. How do I say this? No way! Do I go here? Maybe she was a ghost hunting, haunting dependent, a ghost of suicide, of a suicide victim or something. What was I going to do? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was very bad, I'll give it back to you, please, don't kill me or anything, please forgive me! What an idiot I had been taking the pendant because I thought it was pretty. Now, I was probably cursed and doomed to turn into a restless spirit. No, that was not in my life plan, and this really needs to hurry up. Please, help me. Ah! She was coming closer. Apparently, I had to do more than just apologize. Think, think. A suture. I should take a suture. Who's a suture again? Please. The girl was stretching her hand towards me. Oh, what was I going to do? She touched me. But there was no place to run. Please. Ah! She stretched out her hand. And then she was begging for something. I was scared. I'm probably really scared. But somehow, I knew that she was sad. And her sadness made my heart ache. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh... I hate you mofo. Time Uh, if you look closely, you can see that the girl was about my age. It was- If that was the case, why had she died? Well, why, was she asking me to do something? Why was she so sad? I grasped the girl's hand as firmly as I could. For a moment, I thought I could almost feel her long fingers touching mine. That instant- Huh? Even though my eyes were closed, my field of vision expanded rapidly. There were people wearing armor, people wielding swords, people riding horses, people rushing forward and screaming, people running around, hurrying back and forth, people crouching down. Most of them looked like samurai. Some of them looked like they might be ninjas. It was almost like I was watching the battle scene of a period drama. <laughs> Find the princess! She can't whip us! <laughs> Find her! Hurry up, find her! One of our friends will get to the Lord! I'm gonna push, I'm gonna... Not the thought. What was this? There were lots of people trying to find someone, and that guy with the big shiny sword was trying to do something to that other person. When I realized what it was, I was beginning to share control uncontrollably. Please don't let them find me. Wait, me? Why would you be after me? I watched a girl emerge from a large cave into a ring of samurai. He had guided around her, the lone samurai standing in the middle brought his sword down on her. No, stop! I screamed this without thinking. Don't kill me, I thought. Please don't kill me! The thought, the moment I screamed, the sparkle of that green light became even more intense and it swelled to envelop me. Everything blurred before my eyes. I was, I was about to pass out. Slowly, slowly, I was being glided to some place. Very far away, some deep distant place as if somebody was calling me there. Thank God. That is all for today. <laughs> that is all for today. <laughs> anyway, that is all for today. Oh. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode or video or whatever. Let me know if you like this. Um, and let me know if I should just tone down the idiotness, idiocracy, idiocracy, blah blah blah. Um, and I feel like I just let myself lose a little bit more in this video, and I was actually more comfortable in this story, but just don't make this any longer than it has to be, please, because I'm more painful. Um, see you next time. Incredible hazard.